Shalom. Today we're going to do another read and learn Psalm 46. Mizmor Mem Vav. Lamenatzeach Livne Korach Al Alamot Shir. Lamanetzeach is a customary opening for many of the Psalms. The Lamed is two or four. Minetzeach is translated as conductor or chief musician. It comes from the verb lenetzeach, which means to have victory. Livne Korach, the Lamed is a preposition for, of, we saw this before when the Psalms were Le David, they were written for by David. Mine, you know, is the sons of Korah, you remember was among the Levites that rebelled against Moses in the desert. And despite the fact that the earth swallowed him, he apparently had descendants. Al alamot. Al is a preposition that is used for when something is about something or on something. Alamot is generally not translated. It's assumed to be the name of a melody or another song. Shir is the word for song. You know the book of the Bible, which is Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs. Lamenatzeach Livnei Korach Al Alamot Shir. Elohim Lanu Machase Vaoz. Elohim, you know, is a generic word for God. Lanu is the preposition plus the personal pronoun to us or for us. Machaseh, we learned in Psalm 91.9, it means a refuge. Of course, Vav is the conjunction and Oz is a word that means strength. There's a video about all the Ayan Zion words. Elohim, Lanu, Machaseh, Vaoz. Ezra Vitsarot Nimtsa Maod Ezra is a word that means help. We learned in Psalm 27, verse 9. The bet is a preposition in Tsar. We studied in Psalm 91, 15. It comes from the idea of having a, being in a tight place, and it means troubles. Nimtsa is from the verb matza to find. It is in the nifal form. It is found ma'od very. So it's a kind of peculiar grammatical construction for Hebrew, but perfectly acceptable. Ezra vatzarot nimtza ma'od. Elohim is for us a refuge and strength, a help in troubles, very present. Elohim lanu machase vaoz Ezra vitsarot nimtza maod. Alken lo nira vahamir aretz. Alken is somewhat idiomatic because of this, on this idea, therefore. Lo nira. Lo is not. Nira is a verb that we have studied with the resh verbs, yare, to be afraid. This is in the first person plural, imperfect. We will not be afraid. B is a preposition. Hamir is not a particularly common verb. The root is mem vav resh, and this is in the he feel. And it means to be changed or to be removed. Aretz, you know. Alken lo nira bahamir aretz. Uvamot harim belev yamim.
The vav is and, the bet is preposition. Mot is a verb that means to be moving. There's a video, you can check on that. Harim, you know our mountains. B is a preposition, Lev is heart. Yamim is seas, the ocean. Uvmot harim belev yamim. Therefore, we will not be afraid in the removal or the changing of the land, the movement of the mountains into the heart of the sea. Alken lo nira behamir aretz uvmot harim belev yamim. Yehemu yechmeru memav yerashu harim begaavato sella. Yehemu comes from a verb hama onomatopoeic sound word. We have the idea of humming. <laughs> and it has the idea of the rolling of the ocean, the sound that that makes. Yechmaru is a verb that comes from the root chamar, to be turbulent, to be troubled. Me mav. This is a little difficult to read. It comes from the word mayim, which is water, waters in the dual or the plural. The ending on the end is his, his waters. Your ashu comes from the word ra'ash. Perhaps you know it's a, the word for noise. It makes a noise or a shaking. And harim is the mountains. The bet is a preposition. The noun is ga'avva. It's associated with pride or haughtiness from the concept of swelling. The toe at the end is his. Sela is a common word that breaks the flow or the poetry of the Psalms. It's either some kind of musical term or perhaps it just means stop and think about that. They will roar and they will be troubled. His waters, probably we might say its waters. The mountains are shaking with the swelling. Stop and think about that. Yehemu, yechmeru memav, yur ashu harim begaavato sella. Nahar plagav. Yisamchu ir Elohim. Nahar is the word for river. The word Peleg comes from the name Peleg. In Genesis, it tells you that in his time, the land was divided, and perhaps this is the time of the breaking up of the continents. When that happens, there are more coastlands. This comes into English as the word pelagic, which describes the coastland areas, the sea that's just right off the coastland. Yisamchu comes from the word sameach, to be happy, that you know. Ir Elohim, the city of God. Nahar pelagav yisamchu ir Elohim. Kadosh Mishkane Elion Kadosh, you know, is holy. Mishkane comes from a word Mishkan, from the verb Shochen, dwelling. The Mishkan is a tabernacle in the desert. Elion comes from the word Al. Elion means most high. There's a video about that. Kadosh. Mishkane Elion
the river whose streams, whose flowing places, make glad the city of Elohim, the holy tabernacle places of the Most High. Nahar Pelagav Yisamchu Ir Elohim Kadosh Mishkene Elyon Elohim Bekirba Baltimot Yezreha Elohim Lifnot Boker Elohim we know, Bekirba we already discussed. In Psalm 27, the idea of Korov has to do with coming near. We know it from the Korban, the sacrifice, which brings the sacrificer, the offerer of the sacrifice, near to God. Bekirba is in the midst of her. When you see that dagish in that hay, it has something to do with she or her. Baltimot. There is a video on the Bet Lamed words. They all have a negative meaning of something being absent. Mot we have already discussed. Again the root Ezer to help. He will help her. Who will help her? Elohim. Lifnot is from the idea Lifne before in front of. There's a video about the Peinun words. And Boker you know is mourning. God is in her midst. She will not be moved. He, Elohim will help her at the break of day, just at the turning of the morning. Elohim bekirba baltimot yezreha Elohim lifnot boker. And we will finish the psalm in the next lesson. Shalom.